In this video, we are going to go back to the topic of layout managers and we are going to talk about the border layout. A border layout manager will divide a container into five regions, north, south, east, west, and center. Within each region, you can directly place just one component. You cannot, for example, place two or more buttons directly inside the north region even if the buttons are small, you can only place one. And by default, the border layout manager will stretch out that one button to fill up the entire north region space. Okay, now let's go ahead and edit our code. I will first import java.awt.borderlayout so that we can use this class. And now we go back inside the setup GUI method. The default layout manager of the content pane is actually the border layout manager. So we technically don't need to set it up to use that layout anymore, but I'm still going to explicitly set it up here so you can see how to do it if you are using other types of containers that do not use the border layout by default. Let's remove this flow layout manager and create a border layout manager instead. We type border layout, let's name it brdr equals new border layout. And then we pass it to cp.setLayout. This now sets up the content pane to use the border layout instead of the flow layout that we were using previously. And because we are now using border layout, here in the sequence of add statements, we do not just pass the component. We will also have to specify which region we would like to add the component to. If we want to add the input text field to the north region, then we would have to say cp.add input comma border layout dot north. So you would first pass a reference to the component that you want to add, followed by the constant that represents the region that you want to place the component into. And now let's add the J label to the south region by typing border layout dot south. Let's add button one to the west region by typing border layout.west. And finally, button two to the east region by typing border layout.east. And that's it. There's also the center region, if you recall, but with the border layout manager, we are not required to place a component in all the regions. So let's just leave the center region empty for now. So let's test this out. Java C Java. Java GUI tester. And here's our updated GUI. Notice that the input field is stretched out to fill up the entire north region you recall that we set a width of 10 for this JTEX field, but the border layout manager will ignore that and follow its default behavior of sizing the component to fit the entire region. Same thing goes for the J label here in the south. It gets stretched out to fill the entire region, although it's not quite obvious because this J label does not have a border around it but we can also put one if we wanted to. As for the buttons, the width of each is just enough to fit the button's label along with a little bit of space in the left and right sides. But as you can see, the height is stretched out to fill up the remaining space. And for the center region, it's just empty since we did not place any component inside it. 
But now let's go ahead and create a JText area to place inside the center region. A JText area is similar to a JText field, but it can work with multiple lines of text instead of just one. Let's go back to our code and import javax.swing.j text area. Let's create a field for an instance of it. Private j text area and let's name it ta. Let's instantiate it in the constructor. ta is equal to new j text area. We can also pass a string when we create a JText area. And since a JText area can work with multiple lines, we can place backslash n sequences inside the string. So we can type hello, period, backslash n for a new line. And then let's say this is a JText area, period. I won't give this JTEXT area dimensions anymore since the border layout manager will stretch it out to fill the available space within the region that we'll place it in. And then let's go back to the setup GUI method. And here in this method, let's add the JTEXT area to the center region of the content pane by typing cp.add ta comma border layout dot center okay so let's test this out java c asterisk dot java java GUI tester and here is our g text area in the center region it's got the two lines of text, and just like a JText field, we can type some text inside it as well. Earlier on, I mentioned that we actually do not have to put a component in every single region when using the border layout manager. We saw that if you don't add anything to the center region, then you'll just have an empty space in the middle of the container. If you decide not to add any components in the other regions, however, the border layout manager is going to extend the other areas to fill in the extra space. Let's see that in action by commenting out the add statements for the north and the east regions. And then let's recompile the code. And then let's run it. Here you see that the J text area in the center region and the button one in the west region will fill up the area that was originally taken up by the north region. And then the J text area extends further into the right side to fill up the area that was previously occupied by button two in the East region. And there you have it, a basic example of how to use border layout. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to use the grid layout manager.